I think we're living in very, very complicated times because if we have this discussion about regulation, the problem is, I always say this like in my trainings and my courses, is that we're trying to to regulate AI with borders, but AI doesn't have borders. So if, if Europe wants to be the first to jump on it, which is great to protect the citizens and so on, okay, that's fine, but AI doesn't have borders. So if you regulate it in Europe, it doesn't mean that the US or, or any other market is going to follow suit. So mm. that gives them a chance to to get ahead of Europe, which has been a big debate when when Europe recently launched the the AI Act. There's been a lot of backlash saying that this is going to this is going to be detrimental for the innovation of AI within within Europe. So there's people on both sides. I think what we need to find is a better balance. It's mm. not about over regulating, which we could argue that maybe that's what's happening over regulation in the in in Europe. Um, maybe if we can find a more balanced approach and also a more coordinated approach across markets, because even like, of course, we know that China is a big player in this too. We haven't talked about about China as a region, but um, you'd be surprised that even China has some very interesting uh, approaches to regulation. They were one of the first, it was uh, about a month or two ago, but China announced this regulation that they have for generative AI, which I don't think we have done anything similar even in Europe or the US. Um, but they found a way to start regulating generative AI in a way that minimizes the spread of misinformation and disinformation, which I think is like you would maybe you wouldn't think about it that you can learn from China on regulation. But China has done some some really interesting um, approaches that I think even Europe can learn can learn from them and move forward with it.